Welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. Today is Tuesday, May 17th. We've got uh, one game on the playoff slate for the NHL. We're going to discuss it right now with uh, Dana Lane. Dana Lane, uh, San Jose and St. Louis. Game two. The Blues, of course, won game one. It was a low-scoring game, two to one. A tightly contested game. There were some complaints that uh, St. Louis should have been more penalized than they were. And here we are with game two. Feels like it's going to be basically the same deal. Uh, very close games. I'm not sure if I'd want to take a shot with the money line, which right now is about uh, San Jose plus 150 or plus 120 uh, as an underdog uh, on the road, and then St. Louis minus 130 or 135 on the other side. Maybe want to take a shot with uh, the under once again. It's five plus 100. Shop around, you can get about uh, 104 or 105, but that's the best you can do. It's, it feels like it's, the lines are very tight for, for this game, too. It feels like we know how it's going to go. If I had to take a shot on one of these lines right now, I guess I would go with the under uh, 5 at plus 100, but uh, I don't like that enough to bet it. This is a tough one. Dana Lane, what's your take on game two, St. Louis, San Jose? Yeah, you know what, Pete? I mean, I'm right with you on that, and I think St. Louis played exactly the way that they needed to play in game one. I think that they were they kept San Jose off the off the power play, even though Pete DeBoer thinks that they should have been on the power play some more. But the fact of the matter is, I thought that St. Louis's style beat out uh, San Jose's style. And also keep in mind as well, you know, that the, I've had people say, well, San Jose is going to play much better. Uh, in, in game in game two, which they should in the first period. I expect their first period to be their best period. But at the at the same time, let's also remember that St. Louis is also going to make adjustments, and St. Louis also just came off a tough series. So let's not just say, okay, St. Louis, uh, San Jose is going to make adjustments because I think it goes on both sides. And let's also remember that the home coach has a tremendous advantage over the road coach. And the NHL playoffs is all about making adjustments. And when you're the home coach and you're able to put your your, your guys on the ice first. It, it's going to force. Uh, it's going to force the opposing team to beat the board to make better adjustments. And I just didn't think he made enough adjustments in Game One. I still think Patrick Marlowe should center that third line. We'll see what happens with that tonight. I think they're much better with having a offensive presence presence on three lines than a super offensive presence on one or two. Yeah, I mean, nice points, uh, Data Laid. Um, uh, my, to my eye, it seems like the lines are very tight here, and I'm just, you know, sometimes the market is just dead on, especially in playoff games. Sometimes in the playoffs, the market is uh, way off and can't adjust uh, fast enough. Other times, they have it, you know, read very accurately, especially when it, when a uh, series and a game is uh, is is very evenly matched. And my sense is here that, um, you know, we're going to see something similar to what we saw in Game One. And maybe if we do, though, I mean, Elliot played awesome for St. Louis, so uh, you know, maybe if he has another top game, then maybe St. Louis uh, would be a, a value play even at minus 130 or minus 135, or do you expect uh, San Jose to make some kind of adjustments that, uh, that will give a, 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 you know, that'll challenge Elliott more? Yeah, Pete, I think the first 10 minutes is probably going to be the best 10 minutes that San Jose is going to play in this series. Mm -hmm. I think that they're, they're going to come out and, and really try to make a point that game one was not a reflection of who they are as a team. So at plus $1.11 is pretty attractive in that first period. But uh, the physical advantage for St. Louis, I think, in this series – uh, against San Jose, where they, they have not played a team that can match them physically like the Blues can. And until they make adjustments over a 60-minute period of time, I think I'm, I'm going to take them in the first period, but I don't think I'm going to take them for the game. So with San Jose plus 111 in the first period, San, St. Louis, St. Louis minus $1.24 shot for that too because it's all yes. over the place. Uh, on, on the game. And we're also going to take the under five at plus $1.04 or even. All right, sounds good. Dana Lane, nice breakdown of, a, of an interesting matchup and some tough lines that might be a very accurate. Might still be some small edges involved, though. Dana Lane, thanks so much. Talk to you again tomorrow. I appreciate your time as always, Pete. Thank you.